scene script, have you ever stopped to consider how much we owe to the humble bee? This industrious creature, small and often overlooked, plays a pivotal role in the very fabric of life on our planet. Bees are nature's master pollinators, tirelessly transferring pollen and seeds from one flower to another, fertilizing plants so they can grow and produce food. Without bees, our menus would be noticeably sparse, as they are responsible for pollinating about one-sixth of the flowering plant species worldwide and approximately 400 different agricultural types of plant. Imagine a world without apples, blueberries, coffee, or even chocolate. Yes, you heard it right. Chocolate, among many other foods and beverages we enjoy daily, is a direct result of bees' hard work. They are the unsung heroes of our food chain, and their contribution to global agriculture is nothing short of monumental. Yet these tiny powerhouses do more than just fill our plates, they help the environment thrive. By pollinating a wide range of plants, bees play a critical role in maintaining diverse plant species, supporting other wildlife, and preventing soil erosion. They are the unsung stewards of complex, interconnected ecosystems that serve as the backbone of healthy environments. But here's the sting. Bees are in trouble. Their populations are dwindling at an alarming rate, facing threats from habitat loss, climate change, and pesticide exposure. The decline of bees isn't just a problem for them, it's a problem for all of us. If bees disappear, they will take with them a host of benefits that we often take for granted. The conservation of bees is crucial, not just for their survival, but for ours as well. The situation may seem dire, but there's hope. Each one of us can play a part in turning the tide, from planting bee-friendly flowers in our gardens to advocating for policies that protect pollinators. So let's delve into the secret world of bees and discover why these tiny creatures are so essential. Imagine starting your day with a single mission, to collect nectar and pollen, critical for your hive survival. This is a day in the life of a bee. At first light, worker bees shake off the early morning chill and set off on their quest. Their incredible compound eyes, featuring thousands of tiny lenses, allow them to spot flowers from a distance, while their antennae, packed with over 3,000 sensory organs, help them detect the scent of nectar. Once they've found a promising flower, they use their long, tube-like tongues to lap up the sweet nectar, storing it in a special honey stomach. Along the way, pollen grains stick to the bee's fuzzy body, ready to be transferred to the next bloom they visit, a process known as cross-pollination. But it's not only about foraging. Back at the hive, some bees are designated as nurse bees. Their job is to feed and care for the young, ensuring the next generation of workers is healthy and strong. It's a task they perform with great dedication, feeding larvae up to 1300 times a day. Communication is key in the hive. When a worker bee discovers a new source of food, it performs an intricate waggle dance to share the location with its hive mates. The angle and duration of the dance provide precise directions to flowers blooming even miles away. Bees are also equipped with unique adaptations to help them in their daily tasks. For instance, they possess two stomachs, one for digestion and another for storing nectar. They also have a pair of pollen baskets on their hind legs, perfect for carrying pollen back to the hive. And let's not forget their wings, which can beat over 200 times per second, allowing them to fly at speeds of up to 15 miles per hour. It's these adaptations and their unwavering commitment to the hive that make bees such remarkable creatures. Day in and day out, bees tirelessly perform their duties, all for the good of the hive. Have you ever wondered why bees are considered such remarkable pollinators? Well, it's all about their extraordinary design and the intricate dance of pollination they perform every day. Let's dive into the world of bees and explore their fascinating behaviors and communication methods. Bees are nature's most hard-working pollinators, visiting hundreds of flowers in a single day. Each visit is an opportunity for pollination, the transfer of pollen from the male parts of a flower to the female parts. This process is crucial for the plant's reproduction, and bees play a star role in this. Bees are perfectly designed for this task. Their bodies are covered in tiny hairs that attract pollen grains through electrostatic force. As a bee moves from flower to flower, some of these pollen grains rub off onto the female parts of the flowers, enabling fertilization. It's a win-win situation. The bees get the nectar they need for food, and the flowers get the pollination they need for reproduction. But it's not just about physical attributes. Bees have fascinating behaviors and communication methods that aid in their pollination efforts. For instance, 
honeybees perform a waggle dance to communicate the location of a good food source to their hive mates. They move in a specific pattern and waggle their bodies to indicate the direction and distance of the food source. This dance is an impressive example of non-human symbolic communication. In a single day, a bee might visit hundreds of flowers, each visit potentially leading to the pollination of a plant. Considering the thousands of bees in a hive and the countless hives around the world, the scale of their pollination efforts is truly mind-boggling. So, the next time you enjoy a juicy apple or a slice of honey on your toast, remember the humble bee. Through their hard work, bees not only sustain their hives but also our own food supply. Scene script. Despite their importance, bees are facing a multitude of challenges. Let's take a moment to delve into the issues that are creating a buzz in the world of bees. One of the most significant problems our little pollinators face is habitat loss. As we pave over meadows, cut down forests, and turn diverse landscapes into monocultures, we are effectively evicting bees from their homes. Without a variety of flowers to forage on, bees can't get the nutrients they need to thrive. In addition to losing their homes, bees are also grappling with a changing climate. Unpredictable weather patterns and shifting seasons can disrupt the delicate timing between the blooming of flowers and the life cycles of bees. When flowers bloom too early or too late, bees can miss out on crucial food sources, which can lead to colony collapse. Now, let's talk about pesticides. These chemicals, designed to protect crops from pests, are often deadly to bees. Even when pesticides don't directly kill bees, they can still cause serious harm. Some pesticides affect a bee's ability to navigate back to the hive, while others can weaken a bee's immune system, leaving it vulnerable to disease. The consequences of these challenges aren't just bad news for bees, they're also a problem for us. Bees play a crucial role in pollinating the plants that make up a large portion of our diets. Without bees, we could lose all the plants that bees pollinate, all the animals that eat those plants and so on up the food chain. It's a domino effect that could have catastrophic consequences for our global food supply. So we are left with a pressing question. If bees are so crucial to our ecosystems and our food supply, and if they're in such danger, what happens if bee populations continue to decline? Before you sink into despair, let me assure you that it's not all doom and gloom. There are actions we can take to support our buzzing friends. It's clear that bees need our help, but what can we do to support them? The good news is that each of us can play a part in bee conservation. Indeed, every one of us can contribute to the well-being of bees and in turn, the health of our planet. It's not about grand gestures, but rather about conscious, small, everyday actions that make a difference. One of the most effective ways to support our buzzing friends is to plant a bee-friendly garden. Bees, like us, need a varied diet. So, consider planting a range of flowers that bloom at different times of the year. This ensures that bees have a consistent source of nectar and pollen, their primary food source. Don't forget, native plants are more likely to attract native bees. But what if you don't have a garden? No problem! You can still create a bee-friendly habitat on your balcony or windowsill with a few potted plants. Even in urban areas, every flower counts. Reducing pesticide use is another crucial step. Pesticides can harm bees, disrupting their navigational abilities, and making them more susceptible to disease. If you must use them, apply them in the evening when bees are less active. Supporting local beekeepers is another practical way to champion bee conservation. By purchasing local honey, you're not just treating yourself to a natural sweetener, you're also supporting an industry that fosters healthy bee populations. Local beekeepers tend to prioritize the well-being of their bees, making them vital allies in the fight to preserve these remarkable pollinators. Lastly, let's not forget about educating ourselves and others. Understanding the importance of bees, the challenges they face, and how we can help is fundamental. Share what you know with your friends, your family, your community. By embracing these actions, we're not just supporting the bees, we're supporting biodiversity, our food system, and ultimately, the health of our planet. By taking these steps, we can ensure that bees continue to play their vital role in our ecosystem.